The Salt Lake County District Attorney is asking for the convictions of two Utah men to be overturned. Fox 13's Haley Higgins reports the move comes after technicalities were uncovered more than a decade later. The integrity of our system is based on the fact that we follow our own rules. Salt Lake County's top prosecutor asked a judge to roll back the convictions of two men he believes were wrongly condemned. So there was a series of procedural errors that were conducted, but the end of which is a conviction that can't stand. And the motions filed Monday come at the request of the DA's Conviction Integrity Panel, which found the men were juveniles when they were mistakenly convicted in adult court. I looked at those cases and said, wait a second, um, this, this actually should never have happened. Marlo Navarro's birth date was wrong when he pleaded guilty to distributing drugs in 2010. Sim Gill says the 17-year-old should have never been in third district court to begin with. The same thing happened to Jose Barrera Landa two years earlier. The prosecutor's office believed he was 19 when he was really 17, pleading guilty to misdemeanor sexual battery. Defense attorney Benji McMurray argues staff didn't double check basic information and the two should have been in juvenile court. Both were deported because of the convictions. But for these wrongful convictions, they probably could have remained in the United States and, and had hope of establishing their families here and uh, building a life for themselves here. But because of these wrongful convictions, that was taken away from them. Well, Gil believes there could be even more mistakes like this, errors that could open up the county to be liable for potential lawsuits. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah. The victim in Barrera Landa's case was consulted before a request to vacate his conviction. Gill says she supports the decision and neither case will be re-prosecuted.